Hi. Hello, you lovely beans. It's Nero coming to you live from the UK this Sunday night. How we all doing? Are we all ready to go for some Mass Effect 2? We're going to be vibing. We're going to be taking on some more of those loyalty missions because we have many, many, many of them to do. Uh, there is a lot to do. <laughs> Basically, if we want as many of our team members as possible to survive the suicide mission at the end of the game, we have to se secure their loyalties. Uh, so, like, considering there's, like, what, 12, 13 different party members? Like, yeah, that's a lot of loyal- that's a lot of loyalty missions to do. We successfully done two of them. We did Kasumi's and Miranda's last time on Tuesday. So today we're going to be starting off with Jacob's and then maybe doing Zaid's as well. But we're going to be focusing on those and just getting some shit done, you know? We're just going to be getting shit done. But I'm doing well. I've had a vibey weekend. I woke up incredibly late today. I didn't even mean to. Like, my alarms went off at like 12 and I woke up. And then I kind of went to the bathroom, potted around for a bit, sat on my bed, and then promptly passed the passed passed back out, passed the fuck back out, and woke up at six p.m. And I was just like, "Well, shit." Um, but I got some tasks done that needed doing today. Like I needed to get the trash cans emptied. I did that. I needed to shave my head because I I'm naturally bald, but obviously I have to shave my head like with my electric tr trimmer thingy to uh. Obviously, keep it keep it down, you know. So I did that. Did neatened up my beard as well. Uh, basically, uh, hair maintenance, effectively. But that's done uh, for another month. Uh, so yeah, it's just it's been a. Even though I've only technically been awake awake for like two and a bit hours, I've still been productive. Do you know what I mean? Um, I've snacked a bit. I'll probably get some dinner like a bit later because I'm not really hungry at the moment. But yeah, we're going to be vibing and cracking on with Mass Effect 2. Uh, so yeah, everyone's been playing that Cult of the Lamb, haven't they? Um, like everybody has been playing that Cult of the Lamb game. Don't get me wrong, I can see the appeal. But I think it's definitely the type of game that I would enjoy in my own time. I wouldn't stream it. Like I can see why everybody's streaming it because it looks fun as fuck. But, like, I would play it on my in my own time. Like, I'd probably get the Switch version and just play it in my own time. And just, like, it's it's my little... my It would be my little, like, private vibey game. Do you know what I mean? Uh, granted, though, like, I still have a shit ton of games to play before I, I would even get to that. Like, because I just picked up Hard, Hardship Space Breaker. I just picked... Yeah, I just picked up Hardship Space Breaker because I got it on CD keys... Because it was... Steam wanted £30 for it, but CD Keys was charging, like, 18 So I was like, well, I could save £12 by getting it here. Got it. So I'm going to be doing that. That's a nice, chill, lo-fi game that we can play. So that's going to be... Going to be fun. You think you're awake? That or you're imagining an adorable husky is on the screen entertaining you? I mean, I can entertain in many ways. Like, they don't all involve clothing. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be vibing. We're going to be doing some more loyalty missions on Mass Effect 2, starting with Jacob's, starting with our weapons analyst, Jacob. I forgot his surname. Jacob, 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 Jacob. His name is Jacob, Jacob. His name is John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. There we go. But yeah, let's crack on and let's go over here. Brrr. I'm over here now. Hi. But I have quite a few games that I need to pick back up. Um, obviously in November I'll be playing, um, I'll be playing, uh, Pokemon Scarlet on stream as well, so that'll be fun. Because, like, as many of you are aware, like, fucking Pokemon is my shit. Pokemon is my jam. So, like, I am so looking forward to that one coming out. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Nero, Vanguard, Eden Prime. Oh, because that shows the last game, because I started a personal playthrough on Mass Effect as well. Your social power was drained yesterday, so you're just mentally drained and exhausted, even though they are the same thing. I call that running out of spoons. When I run out of social battery, I call that running out of spoons. That's what I refer to as my social energy. Like, spoons. 
Um, like, I run out of spoons at work all the time. Like, you'll get a shitty customer who'll just say something that will just... Im- you know when someone says something that just immediately rubs you up the wrong way and it puts you in a bad fucking mood and you're like, if they hadn't have been such an asshole, like, I would be in a better mood. Like, why did they say that? They had no need to say that. Why are they such a cunt? You know? And I'm just like, yeah, no, there was no need for that. Like, there is a dude who comes in who was a regular drinker who, uh, he always just stands at the bar. He, ju- he just chills at the bar and he just drinks, which is fine. But, like, sometimes I overhear the conversations he has with his friends. And sometimes the stuff he comes out with, I'm like, if you were directly addressing me, I would have kicked you the fuck out of my pub by now. Do you know what I mean? If you were directly addressing me and saying that shit directly to me, I would have slapped you. Do you know what I mean? There's been a few times that, like, I have butted heads with him after he turned around, like, when I, like, he had, like, because I was talking about, like, just after I got married to Cedric, I was talking about it to one of my colleagues. Hi, Big Daddy Void, welcome on in. And, um, he overheard me talking and he was like, oh, you got married. It was like, who's the lucky girl? And I was like, oh, no, I'm, I was like, I'm, I'm actually married to another man. And he went, oh... And then he came out with, oh, I didn't have you down as one of them. And I was like, excuse me? Could you clarify what you mean by one of them? Jack would like to talk with you, you know, as soon as he said that, I was just like, okay, would you mind clarifying to me what you mean by one of them? And, um, hi, Red, welcome on in. And he was just like, oh, no, I don't mean anything by it. And I was like, yeah, but what what did you mean by one of them? And then he was like, oh, you know, one of them, insert rac- insert a homophobic slur here, you know? And I was just like, dude, you, I, I get that fair enough, like, people of your older generation throw that word around, word around like it's nothing, but that is incredibly offensive. Like, you've basically just called me a... a he basically dropped the homophobic F-bomb to me, to my face, and assumed I'd be okay with it. And he was like, oh, I've got nothing against them. It's like, it's your choice. And I was like, choice? It's not really a choice. And he was like, well, it is a choice, though, isn't it? And I was just like, oh, no. No, bitch. Like, I had to turn around because my manager was on the bar, and I was just like, get him away from me, otherwise he will be leaving this building in a body bag. Do you know what I mean? Like, my manager turned around and went, it's not a choice. And he went, it is a choice, though. And she went, why would somebody choose to be ostracized? Why would they choose to be bullied? He went, well, I don't know. And she went, maybe did you stop to consider that it's not a fucking choice? And then he just finished his drink and was just like, well, it's not my fault. And she went, no, it's not your fault. I'll give you that. It's not your fault that he was born that way. But you're not drinking in here today. Get out. She kicked him out. Like, she just was just like, I think you need to leave before you upset anybody else. And he was like, well, I'm enjoying me drink. And she went, well, I'm not enjoying your company. Get out. <laughs> she literally just looked him dead ass in the eye and went, get out. <laughs> he got so arsy over it. And it was just like, no, bitch, get the fuck out. And I was just like, I love my management team at the pub because they're like, if someone says something that is obviously like, homophobic or anything they are straight on they are straight to protect my back and just like no fuck off out like when that there is a zero tolerance for that shit in here turn around get out if you don't get out the police will be called and you will be arrested for trespassing and the cctv of you being homophobic will be shown to the police so just like don't even fucking try it guys just like really bitch It's just like, yeah, no, get out. You're the middle of the ext- introvert and extrovert, but you usually say you're an introvert with social skills. That's fair. Now, if I'm right... Let's grab some iridium. Oh, hello. Poor scan results. Lovely. I wonder what 
happens if you just bounce off a sun? Do you know what I mean? I have detected an anomaly. Hi, Blind Coder. Welcome on in. Joab. That's an interesting name for a planet. Oh, there's an anomaly here. Enjoy the lurk, Star. I figure that while we're in the area, we might as well, uh... Ezo? Hello. We always need more platinum. There it is. Mercenary activity detected on planet's surface. Communications match blue suns and coding protocols. Possible location for rumored site of illegal archaeological activity. Ooh, illegal. You also use he, they pronouns. No worries. I tend to use they, them profi pro bleh, profiles. I tend to use they, them profiles. Uh, I just said it again. I tend to use they, them pronouns as like my default. Just because like... They basically are gender neutral, you know? And if you want to correct me to prefer it, if you'd rather have he, they, or she, they, or fucking he, whatever, you know? Just, like, just say so. That's fine. Because I go, I go by he, they pronouns. Okay. Miranda and Kasumi. I'll take my two loyal, uh... Kibo! Appears from a smoke cloud of nuclear catnip bombs with a legion of assassin kittens to boop all the cute snoots. Kibo, thank you for the two biddies. I appreciate it. To be fair, I refer to everyone as beans because I see beans as a gender neutral term. You know? That's fair. That's fair. I just refer to everybody as beans because be beans are beans to me is a gender neutral term. You want to be a coffee bean? Oh, look, a person! Hold this. Okay. Sniper time! Oh, I miss. Nice. nice shot, Kasumi. Down you go. Down you go. Are we done? Are they done? They dead? They're all dead. You would say beans, but you have a non-furry friend whose pet name for his girlfriend is Bean. Just say you're referring to his girlfriend. Really shake things up, you know? Just say your her his their girlfriend inspired you, you know. You might get a slap, but uh. To be fair, you could just say that you were inspired by that, instead of just being like, "Hey, your girlfriend is hot," you know. God, I'm not. I'm obviously not encouraging you to do shit like that. Uh, overload and what's that? Slam. Ooh, fun. You'd rather not piss in that bowl of Cheerios on purpose. Oh, did you see that fucking meme that was going around on Twitter that was just like, me peeing on the side of the bowl to not make as much noise. My brother who was just trying to enjoy his bowl of cereal. <laughs> It's on Twitter. Oh fuck. Here. You got it.
da 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 Bye. Oh, he is lucky that I missed. Didn't miss that time, bitch. It's not on my Twitter. I just saw it on Twitter. <laughs> Medkit. You was at the music thing and there were a few homophobic boys being homophobic because you look like a guy, but also because you cut your hair. People are assholes. That's that's just it. Like pe people are assholes. I just wouldn't wouldn't give them too much. I know, right? Sniper rifle will blast through an entire fucking person, but stopped by a very thin pane of glass. You got a bug, Varric? Quick, okay. I just tend not to, like, unless they pay in your bills, pay them bitches. No mind. Unless they pay in your bills, pay them bitches. No mind. Wait. This was a toilet. This was a toilet block. Did I interrupt them using the toilet? Why are these toilets just out in the open? Why are these toilets just out in the open? Like, were they just like sat doing their business and then suddenly someone comes in shooting and it's just like, oh no, like they had to chop off their turds just to fucking get up and like, it's a public, t yeah, but you'd think there'd be stall walls, you know? You'd think there'd be, like, at least a stall wall or a divider so that you don't have, like... Ew. I didn't realise they were doing it Roman bathhouse style, you know? You just sit on a fucking bench, hold hands while pissing. Ooh. Why would you, like... You just sat on the toilet, just, like, stood at the urinal, just been like, Wow, bro, nice cock, you know? Good lord. Oh! Here, hold this. Going dark. She killed him. Pissing by yourself, handsome. <laughs> God, can you imagine? Well, I don't know who he is, but he's dead. they fail to realize is that my fucking homing beacon thing, you know, it will literally home in on you and, like, hit you in the face. <laughs> ah! Ten months. So glad to still be around. Have a good stream, Nero. Ro Rogar, thank you so much for the 10 months of continued support, my dude. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. Thank you. Heckin' sweetie. Recapture the derelict ship. Prothean video log? Hello. That was very well timed. It's a husband. Hi. Hello, cutie foat. How are you? How was Cult of the Lamb? I already know what you were fucking playing. How was Cult of the Lamb? Uh, 
absolute silence as he's so focused. Rarely do you ever say you're buying a game twice. Because you want to buy the Switch version, don't you, to play on the fucking uh, the plane. That was such a quiet clip. Let's do another one. You were just so focused right there. We also have... Oh, this is an early day Cedric stream. That's the OG, like, Cedric PNG. Oh my god, Blask. Oh my god, Blask. <laughs> oh my fucking god, Blask. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But thank you so much for the raid, hon. Anybody who came in on that raid who doesn't know who I am, I imagine you do by now. My name is Nero Husky. I'm a British variety streamer who play who plays all sorts of things. And at the moment, I am playing Mass Effect 2. We vibin'. Oh, Lord, we vibin'. But there we go. We just discovered a Prothean beacon. And now we're going off to Alpha Draconis. Because we're going to go help Jacob find his daddy. We're going to go help Jacob find his daddy. 2175 Aiea. Help Jacob. Anomaly detected. An anomaly? Ah. Uh. Okay, there we go. Let's scan and find his daddy. Oh my god, that is a lot of platinum. Hi, Eggman! The only anomaly in the system is how hot you are, Edie. Oh. And some Ezo as well, heck yeah. There is some very good resources on this planet, holy crap. Ezo! And that's how you got jettisoned out the airlock? The impact and unscheduled suborbital deceleration recorded general distress. MSV Hugo Gert. Something on our sensors. I am probing the planet, yes. Consensually, of course. I think I have to take Jacob with me. Because obviously this is like his loyalty mission. And if I fly, or if I fall, at least I can say I gave it all. I was probing Uranus the other day. I was, yes. It was fantastic. Was it good for you, dear? Uh, let's take... Uh, take Garrus, because Garrus is... Garrus is bae. Garrus is bae. Shepard. Garrus. I literally did it on stream. This is so pretty. This is a proper paradise planet, isn't it? This is like a full on paradise. Where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? Alright. Bitch. Okay. You use your shotgun, you use your sniper. Got it. Okay. 
I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Torian, Asarian, Batarian. It'll all be lonely on this planet without you to hold. There it is, and mostly intact. It could have survived impact, but it's been years. There's a VI. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. PDA. Okay. Uh, that one. That one. That one. Okay, that was quick. Star signs? They're just constellations that were viewable from Earth at the time when you, uh... They're meant to have, like, a magical, spiritual meaning, but... There's meant to be 13 of them, actually, not 12. Because the 13th is Opituous, the snake handler. I do. Trouser snakes, mainly. That sounds creepy. That that was very creepy, sir. That log was very creepy. I don't know how I feel about that. Is that only for straight women, gay men, and bi people? What do you mean? Constellations and shit? I have no idea. I don't give a shit. I'm gay and I don't give a shit. It's just a thing that, I guess, I have no idea what it's for. Oh, there's a log there as well. I missed it. Oh, I have no idea. Bruises? Excuse me? Repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override. Beacon resumed. Pause time, 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. What did you do? Look at it. This beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted. By acting captain, Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Oh, we're getting... Something, something dark happened here. Okay, we're getting nothing. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Okay. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled... <laughs> 65% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended Ow. approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and... Uh, Stexin01, thank you so much for the follow and welcome on into the Husky Hub. I hope you enjoy your stay. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent, 
data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours. I will save just after this conversation. Thank you. Of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Come on, let's get going. Our father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. It must have after so long. So the local food made everyone forget who the hell they were. That's weird. Can't say I'm a fan of that. There's cover everywhere. She's gonna shoot at me. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out! Oh, I saved her. They won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! We've been spotted. Hold this! Gotta hurt! I've got him! Got him! I've that one! There we go! That guy's on fire. Literally. Here, hold this. Well, he's on fire. Yeah, they're dead. They didn't have neural decay. They were insane. My father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Well, thankfully, I noticed that Paragon interrupt. Otherwise, she would have been fucked. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. Good God. Cognitive decline. Yeah, clearly. I'm keeping my weapon drawn. None of them had shields either, so they weren't difficult to kill. Stripped mech. Stripped for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. I'm keeping my gun drawn. I'm sorry. Hi! We do look very heavily armored, to be fair. Sweetie, I can see your butt. Like her- They're from the same group as the ones that attacked us, but these are docile. They're all female. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently? It makes males get violent. Possibly, but the female on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Oh dear. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. So it was enough to sustain them, but it was causing neurological damage. I love how I just helped myself to the fucking... He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. Ew. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. That's creepy. What was that noise? Oh, hello! Ooh! Hold this. His mechs shoot without question. Not a 
exactly a long-term discipline solution. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. I think Jacob's dad made a cult. You guys came here to get it to so that you could. Here. You could end it. Hello. You have his face, but you fight his machines. You might stop this. This I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob. What does it say? It's a cool log book. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. So the upper the rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. I see. So his father is a bad guy. He wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women. Assigned them to officers like pets. That is disgusting. After the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After... My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Because the, the males had started fighting back more viciously. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? He must have done. There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon to keep the people safe. All killed within the same week, about a month after the beacon was repaired. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. So his father's gone do Lally, basically. I should probably move away from this thing because it's going to blow. Oh, yes. Run. Just got free. He's covering his ass. The old corpse was posed like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Hostile! Ah! Bye! Oh, hell no. Whoop. Are we done here? Are there any more of you that want to fuck around and find out? Oh, hi. Excuse you. This 
I'm giving them the fucking business. I know, poor robots, I'm sorry. I'm icy, spicy, for them I'm too pricey. Going for the gold swarm, I get a little feisty. I am taking care of business. Heavy pistol? Where? I saw that. There it is. Might be useful. Heavy pistol damage, hell yes. That's basically my main weapon. Big wide open area. Ooh! Enemy. Here, hold this. Get fucked. We're not trying to rescue you, you so you, you freak. The music's proper picking up, isn't it? We've got hostile drones. I can see that. Oh, hell! Yeah, the heavy pistol is such a good weapon. Like, whenever I'm not playing a soldier, I basically tend to default to the heavy pistol. Fragile crate. One punch destroys it. Jesus Christ, Shepard, how strong are you? It's just like Shepard's... I mean, I know Shepard is, like, part cyborg at the moment. I can't tell them to stand down because they're trying to fight for me. Sounds like bullshit to me. All his enemy, all his allies, fucking rocking around, going I smell pennies, you know. Christ on a bike. Coming running out, just being like I smell pennies. Oh. Is that your freaky daddy? Daddy. Daddy wasn't there to take me to the fair. Field is clear. Hello. We're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pads. Scuffed my pads, excuse me. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Base. We've got to have some back pay coming. Oh my god, you have your crew acting captain. Total loss. Toxic food turned them wild. Did it fuck? They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? Oh dear. You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. 
before I left. I hope to leave. Welcome back. back, Star. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? God damn it. Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. Oh, the crew is listening. Settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. You should have fucking revealed it. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his captains a little late to step back. He had an accident. An accident tense. bullshit. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The storage from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the Hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. You were a terrible person, After sir. things escalated here. Seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. Good God. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out oh. of the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I would have just shot him. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right. He's going to prison. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Oh. Because one of the options is you can just leave him to the hunters who will kill him. Survivors from IAEA are being treated by Alliance personnel with additional Cerberus support. Pleased to see Taylor unharmed psychologically by experience. Jacob Taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission. Creates a shield that soaks huge amounts of damage. New outfit for Jacob. Titan Pulsar heavy pistol damage. You couldn't bring himself to your... Fucking hell. Well, basically, I only evacuated him to lock him up. It's like, you're not gonna live in your little island paradise on your own, mate. You're going to spend the rest of your days in a fucking prison cell. Hope you like prison gruel. And your new prison husband, bitch. Eee! Oh. You mean it wasn't you. Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. 
I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know this situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? Thank you for the I pets. Did. Miranda? Hi, Darius. Welcome on in. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. Oh, she's in trouble. She should not have done that. You just had a steak lunch? Oh, you didn't bring enough for the class? You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we've got work to do. I commend it. Shepard, thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Aw, that was sweet. And I got Paragon points for that. That was sweet of her. Okay, let's get this heavy pistol damage thing, because I need this. Oh my days, I need this. Squad bonus, plus 20% heavy pistol damage. AP heavy pistol. Plus 20% damage. Hello. Ooh, look at that. 50% heavy pistol damage against armor. Upgrades heavy pistols and hand cannons for your entire squad. Oh! Take care, blind coder. Have a good night. <laughs> Fuck yes. Right. So we have... We have Jacob's loyalty, so that's good. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Wah! Jacob is now loyal. Heck yeah. Okay, I do like the black and orange. That is nice. Blue Sun's activity traced. We did a little due diligence on this Lieutenant Locke and his rendezvous with Captain Voris. The MSV Strontium Mule has been added to your galaxy map. I hope this is the right Commander Shepard. I'm Oriana. My sister only told me a little. Oh, that's cute. Okay, now let's do Zaid's uh, personal mission. Because we need Zaid's loyalty. Uh, Isma Frontier, help Zaid. Okay. Aquila. Cause Zaid is a very strong soldier based character. I don't like him, but he's he's got his uses, do you know what I mean? Like I don't like the bitch, but he has his uses. Yeoman Chambers monitors activities on crew on the Normandy. Talk with her regularly to learn valuable information.
Okay. So we have to take Zaid with us, that goes without saying. But I think we probably need a biotic, so let's take Jack. Ooh, and I got some ammo points as well. The problem is, I don't think I can really use any of these, because I don't bother with Tactical Cloak. Cryo Ammo, Tactical Cloak, Incinerate, AI Hacking, and Flashbang Grenade. Shepard and Z Oh, she has four points. Heck yeah. Okay, that works. And he has five points, so... He has Disruptor Ammo, Mercenary Veteran... Heavy Disruptor Ammo I'm gonna give him. The Mantis Sniper Rifle, the Incisor Sniper Rifle. Eviscerator Shotgun, Geth Plasma Shotgun. There we go. I would think being a part of the Alliance military, you would get even basic pistol hand handguns, you know? His one white eye is kind of creepy. You can kind of clearly see that it was, like, implanted later. Hi, Cody. Welcome on in. Here we go. Keep close. Dead bodies? Ooh. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Oh, it's a monkey! Push your head. It's like a monkey thing. Creepy. Ow. Command to Bravo. Take the position. Likely these people are not runaways. No, we are not. Hi, Punk. Welcome on in. A Jaffa cake. Thank you. I will take that now, actually. I've got a box. I have a fresh box. Thank you. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. Next. Oh my god! I'll crush your bleeding skull. I dodged that. That was so close. I can see that, sweetie. Hell, you 
Ooh, he shattered. Ooh. Hold this. <laughs> She's dead. She went, eh! I could, I could smell the exhaust from that rocket as I fired it. Oh my god. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this, Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got... He used to be a leader of the Blue Suns? 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Jack's and just like, I'm just going to vibe. Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. <clears throat> a grudge? Vito turned my men against me. Point your finger at me again and I will break it the fuck off. Me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge. Bitch. We better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Zaid is like the ultimate renegade character. He is the chaotic evil character. He will kill anybody if it means getting the job done. Palladium? Thank you. I need that. I mean, I have a big fuck-off sniper rifle. Like, Shepard's, Shepard's gun is bigger than yours, sweetie. And I think she- and she fucking knows it is. Hi. Zaid Masani. You finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. Oh! You just signed your death warrant, Masani. No, I don't think I did. Wait. Dude! What the hell are you doing? That's an access valve! What are you doing? Wilhelm scream. There are people in there! We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm going to kill Vito. <laughs> I'm in danger! You your lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I ought to knock you the hell out. Thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies. Whatever the cost. Let's go. Oh, fuck you, dude. Hold this. Burn. You ax absolute cockwomble. Zaid, you absolute cockwomble. Oh my god.
There are innocent people in there. Help! We're trapped! We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. No, nope. I'm saving the people. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. I'm saving people. I'm not like this shepherd isn't a cold-blooded isn't a cold-blooded fucking murderer, so You can still secure his loyalty at the end, but you have to pack a, pass a persuasion check. Ow. Yeah. You can still secure his loyalty at the end, but as I say, you, ha you have to pass a persuasion check to do it. Right, come on, you two. Yoink. The doors won't open until the fire's out. We're going to die. Ah! <laughs> Fuck me. There, the fire's out. You're welcome. Run. Now you leave Vito to me. Hello. This is valuable. Ooh, I got a flamethrower. I got a fucking flamethrower. <laughs> I already had its best. What do I want to put out fires? More fire. <laughs> oh, hi. You didn't need that, did you? Fight fire with fire. Yeah, basically. Like, they're dead. Good god. Steven, hi! Welcome on in. Just... Excuse you.
He turned to mush. Oh, give me two seconds. Let me get you a shout out. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, fuck. Zaid, be a deer and use your. Oh. Lord. But yes, welcome on in Raiders. For anybody who does not know who I am, my name is Nero Husky. I'm a British variety streamer who plays all sorts of stuff, and at the moment I am playing Mass Effect 2. And we are killing many, many people who deserve it. Anybody who gets in our way is basically getting shot at. It's fine. No worries. Did somebody just take a pot shot at me? He got one of the guards, so there you go. You just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh. Zaid, you all right? The hell do you care? I'm fine. Now come on, get me out of this shit hole. Good God. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'm doing what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You brought this on yourself. You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That's not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about it. Part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way you can do this unless we're all working together. You, you have a point. I'm not done with Vito, but I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. And I secured his loyalty. Let's get the hell out of here. Because basically, if you're taking the renegade route, you leave him to die. If you're playing as a renegade, but you choose to save the refinery workers, you leave him to die. There you go. 
Although Vito escaped, Zaid has accepted Shepard's command and appears focused on the mission. Good lord in heaven. Well, we did it. We secured his loyalty. He wasn't fucking happy about it, but we secured his loyalty. Good grief. He was an angry baby. Saeed is just a big angry baby. Heavy weapon ammo. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I was on IAA. The food made me sick. The doctors are helping me now. One doctor knows Jacob. He says he can tell you this. He could write this for me, but I want to do it. I need to use my words. My words are coming back. I can talk well. Reading is hard, but I am getting better. I have to get better. Taylor wanted me like this. He wanted my words gone. I have to show him that he lost. I am not weak. He did things to me, and he can't now. He can't take away my words. He can't make me not me anymore, because you and Jacob stopped him. Well, there we go. We have Zaid's loyalty. Whether he wants to be fucking loyal or not, we have his loyalty. Heavy disruptor ammo. And there we go. Let's go say hi to... Jack, Grunt, and Zaid. I know Jack wants... I'm sure Jack has a loyalty mission. Should we do Jack's loyalty mission now? <laughs> yes, now to never now to never use Zaid again because fuck that guy. You're absolutely right. Like fuck Zaid. Don't actually fuck Zaid, but fuck Zaid. Hi, Jack. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. Hi, sweetie. You okay? Mommy's here. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes. I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man, never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. Good God. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me. Then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. Jesus Christ! There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them that there's a loose end I need to deal with. A loose end? You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Okay! 
Attacking our allies is gonna derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? Fair. You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Okay, let's go. I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. Love you. In the Dakar system? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's oddly appropriate. Hello. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. Mighty fine ass? You have my attention, sir. Ooh. In the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. <laughs> oh! My goodness. <laughs> My day is just mighty fine ass. Mm. I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> I'm gonna get to your west. Been nice knowing you. I'll I'll check on Grunt in a bit. <laughs> right, where are we going? There we are. Rup. head to the mass relay and we'll ping across the universe. No hit to daddy bags today? No. No daddy bags today. Tuchanka, help Morden. Omega, recapture freighter. Save the crashing ship. There's a crashing ship? Excuse me. It can wait. Wee! Yum. Okay. The DACA system. I love the fact that the system is called DACA. Actually, to be fair, while I'm here, I can head to the uh, the med the tech lab and upgrade something. Prototypes? Oh, heavy weapon ammo. Okay. Retrain powers. Reallocate points to powers. No additional points are granted. Blah 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 blah. Oh. Inferno armor, heavy weapon ammo. Yeah, go on. We'll take that. The M920 cane, excuse me? Oh, I don't have enough. The effectiveness and efficiency of massive- Oh, it's a singularity generator. Cool. Cool. It's a mass effect generator. Commander, I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. Okay, I'll go talk to Daddy Garrus after this one. Daddy. Okay, let's go do Jack's loyalty mission now. Ooh, a Jaffa cake, thank you. Oh. I love that some squad members, like Garrus, Let's take Grunt with us. Hmm.
your entire squad gains the Disruptor Ammo's effect. Squad Disruptor Ammo. Hell yeah. Death Plasma Shotgun, Carnifex Hand Cannon. I forgot how much I hate this place. Why are we going? See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. Yeah, they build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. It's raining. Brunt is adorable. He's just a big, angry baby. Everyone gets disruptor ammo. Where's the door? Okay, so this is our this is our thingy. Oh. Okay, it's this way. Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. Okay, that... I saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. So this was an experiment. This was a, a facility where Cerberus experimented on children. Ugh. I'm not a fan of that. I'm really not a fan of that. What the fuck is wrong with Cerberus, honestly? There it is. Security console. The man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew, he won't find out. The elusive man. They were sneaking around behind the elusive man's back. He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. Ooh. What were they hiding? Escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. Did you kill him? What was that? You've been spotted. Baron! Bad doggy. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I they weren't really doggies, to be fair. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. 
Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking. I still get warm feelings during a fight. Let's keep moving. So she gets off on the violence because they conditioned her to. That is fucked up. They conditioned her to get pleasure from violence. Like, they condition- they trained her to do that. That is awful. And they were doing that to a child! Oh! I'm blowing this place sky fucking high, I'm sorry. No! No, no. No, 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 no. Hi, Shadow, welcome on in. Heckin' yeah, sweetie. Brr. Medicine. Security officer Zimple, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. You're gonna die. Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. Ah. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. Interesting. Self care package, I will take that now. Thank you, Darius. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. I have a horrible feeling there's someone else still alive in here. Ezo. Okay. Blood pack. Oh, hello. Well, that was fun. I need a morgue. This was a small facility. The other children must have died in great numbers. Even then, they were a part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. Something's not right. Something ain't right. Jack's brother Jill, apparently. Something isn't right. Why was this place crawling with Vorcha? Back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit. It's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. Sure thing, sweetie. Mama's got you. Hello! Woo! Hold this! Oh my god! Goodbye! No fucking survivors. What was that? Hello! Jesus Christ. 
got kids here. Apparently. <sighs> this is a two-way mirror. My cell was on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. Something's not right here. Something isn't right. I must have come through here when I broke out, but I don't remember it. This is a bad place. That looks awful. I am keeping my gun drawn. One, four, and six died. No biotic change among the survivors. They were testing a drug? Lower temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. She was the control. She was the control group. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on. Harder and tougher. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Kelton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. What the fuck, man? Got it. What's this? Biotic damage. I will take that. This game is very dark. It's much darker than others. Hello! Hey, Arash. It's Kira. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put them down. But I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. You're not surviving this. What are you doing here? First, we're gonna kill you. Then, we'll see. That's unfor- That's unfortunate for you. What is this bitch doing? Gotcha! Catch! He's dead. The room left is my old cell. Whoever Aresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. 
Might as well do it on his corpse. Yep. I love how it's just like. Pssst. I love how it all just fizzles away, you know. I love like Jack is scary. Like she's cool, but she's also scary. Okay. Book and a book. One. Two. Three. Four. Money. Basically, yeah. Come out. We know you're here. Hi. You're gonna die. Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this, but a place like this, it doesn't forget you. She was. She was the control group. You. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm going to find out what they knew. How to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. No, you ain't. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You'd do the same thing to me, kids. Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. Sweetie, no. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never going to restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck. Get out of here. Go. He's not worth chasing. None of it is. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed. But it's all different. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. So they basically tortured her, but she was the control group, hence the zero in her name. Because there was also subjects one through nine. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. I think that's basically it, sweetie. See the scarring on the wall here? It's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. Speed the fuck up, basically. Wee! <laughs> I 
I like how everyone just falls out their seats. It's just like, oh shit. Facility on Pragya confirmed destroyed. Concerned the previous cleanup crew failed to destroy all records. Surviving facility scientists already dead, either from uprising or after facility shutdown. Jack should have no further emotional issues distracting her from the mission. Transforms absorbed biotic energy into heavier damage against health, armor, and biotic barriers. Ew, warp ammo. That sounds fun. Use the research computer in the Normandy's lab. Bioamp upgrade. Heck yeah. Catharsis. Complete Jack's loyalty mission. Oh, hello. What the hell? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. <laughs> what the fuck? Touch me and I will smear the world with you, bitch. Enough. Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you. You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. This is a distraction. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences until the mission's over. Sure, I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. Woo! That almost went horribly wrong. Fuck me. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the hell out of me. Mood! Fucking hell. Well, there we go. Fucking hell, man. So, basically, what happens is if you don't resolve that confrontation peacefully, you lose one of their loyalties. But you can get it back, uh, but you have to pass a persuasion check to save their loyalty. And now I have Jack's loyalty. So she can either have the visor, she can either have like titties, titties akimbo, a bit more of a bra or that one. I kind of just like that one, to be honest. Okay, there's still three loyalty missions left to do. Thanix cannon, fun. Okay. The vi yeah, the visor is ugly. I like I ca I can't deny the visor is ugly. I'm just checking something. Warp ammo. Titties akimbo nobody likes, but I know that's the thing. If I could have that armor without the, uh, biotic damage. If I could have that armor without the fucking visor, like, if you could take the visor off, she would look so much better. Biotic duration. Cool. Advanced training allows Shepard to reallocate points to powers. Through intensive training, Shepard can learn to use a single bonus power. Obtaining more loyal squad members will increase the number of powers available. Because warp ammo is a really good ammo type. 
sl barrier, slam, warp ammo, inferno grenade. Fire damage is effective against armor. That's the thing. Zaid's ability is actually really good. Inferno Grenade is actually a really good ability. So I might just give him give Shepard that one instead of Flashbang Grenade. Yes. There. So now Shepard has Inferno Grenade. Yeah, now Shepard has Inferno Grenade. Hell yes! Yeah, now Shepard has Inferno Grenade. Basically, I have a little Napalm Grenade. Right, there were a few little side missions that I wanted to do first, so... I love how this is like the fucking... the DACA system, I love it. Save the crashing ship. Let's go do that. Does Shepard half Inferno Grenade? I don't know. I don't know what that means. The MSV Broken Arrow. Hello. Scans detected a rapidly decaying derelict ship in orbit over planet Jonas. Registration matches the MSV Broken Arrow. Ship manifest notes volatile munitions cargo on board. If left undisturbed, the ship's trajectory will lead to impact with Jonas. High probability that the crash site will be far gone. Jonas's largest human colony. Geth signatures detected. Geth signatures detected. Fire grenades. Yes, we have napalm grenades. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's Hinte's boyfriend. I'm sorry, I have to murder them all. Let's take... Well, I need my disruptor ammo. So, obviously, uh, I need Kasumi. And I also need Morden. No, Garrus. Oh, you're fine. The Geth are cool. Armor piercing ammo? Cool. Let's boost his overload skill. She can have a boost to flashbang grenade. You synthetic motherfuckers, let's do this. Okay. Wolf, thank you for the host. Switch up. 
It's going good. We are murdering many, many people. you, dude. Which way am I supposed to go? Ah! Punch through their armor. This way? There we go. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. Run! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, is it that way? Oh god, I'm an idiot. Battery wasn't charging, so bought new battery. Then it turns out your charger port pin broke. God damn. That should do it. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, we did it! We saved them! <laughs> well, we didn't really save anybody, we just stopped the ship from smashing into a planet. <laughs> We didn't really save anybody, we just stopped the ship from smashing into a planet. And it's free money, I guess. It does, yeah. This star is going like supernova. Oh, Izo. Hello. Probe launched. We do need a lot of iridium, to be fair. Oh god, that is a lot of iridium. Probe launched. Considering I did just use a lot of iridium before, like take as much as I can get, honestly. Um, 
launching probe. Ezo. Ezo is a good resource as well, because it's one of those rarer ones that you can kind of... <laughs> Hi, Raging. Welcome on in. It's one of those rarer elements that you can never have too much of. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Good lord, this planet is literally covered in resources, like holy shit. Launching probe. That'll do for now, I think. I have detected an anomaly. Darius bonked you? Well, you must have deserved it. I'm kidding. I will turn the ship around. Launching <laughs> probe. What is that noise? Launching probe. Probe away. I have found something. Sensors detecting anomalous weather patterns on the planet's surface. Geth activity detected. Ooh, Geth again. Geth again! <laughs> Just make myself sound like I've got a lisp. Yes, again. Good lord. Let's take Morden with me and we'll take Miranda. Lisps are cute. Uh. It's the Geth. That was the wrong button. What is that? Nice. Like seeing them wasn't hard enough. They're also cloaked now. Great.
Thank you for the pets. And thank you for the host as well, Hinte. I appreciate it. We got stars direct in her face, Palladium. There is only death down there. Ah! Hello. Headshot. Look sharp. Oh, target. Ah! We good? We good. What is it doing? It's all like wow 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 wow. I thought we were done with cults for today. Oh, it's this. Uh, uh. Squad points gained one. Recovered Geth climate change technology. Ooh. 50% bonus to shields? Hell yeah. 50% bonus to shields? There is no death, only geth. Yes, apparently. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Damage protection two of five. Hell yes. Keep now. All right. Should we go talk to Daddy Garrus? Oh, but I have. I think you want to talk to Garrus. I will go and talk to Garrus. Just give me two moments. To the Normandy, our thanks. We received your identify from the. Uh huh. Pragia facility update. He had ordered the project shut down before the riot broke out. Per your report, the facility on Pragia has been destroyed. Let's go talk to Garrus, because Garrus wants to talk to us. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, a Sarian Vatarian. Okay. Garrus, everybody's husband. I can't believe the collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant bugs. Who knows what the Reapers did to him? Creepy. Ew. Hi! Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. Oh, really? There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. 
an eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You're gonna kill him? You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Sure. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. I guess we're going to the Citadel. Let's go to the beach. Each, let's go get away. Let's go to a nice space beach. Do you know what I mean? Grunt seems very agitated. You may want to check in on him. I will, sweetie. Just give me some time, thank you. I love how I just literally flew straight through a fucking... Uh, let's head to the mass relay. Serpent Nebula. There we are. Everybody's hubby daddy. You have neither in your life. Have you tried Grinder? Excuse me. That was a deep one. That tasted like pepperamis. Fuck grinder, you're I don't know what that is. You don't want hot alien sex. <laughs> Turians in your area. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division side for the last year. Where do I know he his voice? Blue Suns. Where can we find him? Yeah, if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you General on Tullius, the Skyrim. House in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. Ah. Uh. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Love you. I love you. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that. Where are we going? Um. Uh. Oh, the warehouse is on the other side. Hot local single Turians with need for bottoms. Oh. If you're a botnam man, you know what. Raise your hand.
If you're a bottom and you know it, clap your cheeks. Oh god. <laughs> remember Admiral Kohoku? Yeah, he, they abducted and killed him. Bastards. If you're a bottom and you know it, meet me in my room. <laughs> Such a hot jingle, I know, right? I'm Commander Shepard, and, and this, this is, is my favorite, favorite store, store on the Citadel. Citadel. Archon Visor. Ew. Can switches still apply? I mean, yes. No, I don't mind. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> I'm just a slag, it's fine. <laughs> this looks like the place. Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? He sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. I wouldn't know anything about that. Been trying to get this refund for two years. Two years. I'm not giving up now. You'd get a lot farther in life if you just held on to your service orders and receipts. That's the guy from the first game who was after the refund. Oh my god. Does he ever get it? I wonder. Hello. Oh dear. Krogan. Hi. Threesome. Found the. Oh. Ew. Not with you, no. Ew. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. <sighs> Looks can be deceiving. <sighs> so, which one of you wants to disappear? <sighs> I'd rather see you make someone reappear. <sighs> uh, that's not the service we provide. <sighs> make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Bye! Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yeah, yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of merch there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting Harkin? him. What do the Blue Suns have to do with this? They use his services to help their people infiltrate businesses and various organizations here on the Citadel. The bastard. He's using CSEC to help those scum. Uh, no, no, no. Well, not really. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the system. I'm gonna shoot him in the face. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. <laughs> if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. And he's just like, oh, cool. Yay. Hail a cab. It's like, taxi! We got some murder in to do. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new army jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Ugh. Krogan are cool. They have four testicles, did you know? It's just a pity they're all, like, 90% sterile, so no impregnations there. No baby, no baby, no baby, no baby. 
Okay, so you have to take Garrus with you. unfortunate for you. Run all you want, Harkin. We'll find you. Talk him up. Hey. Oh. I need cover. Yeah. Goodbye. Headshot, motherfucker. Then stay down. <laughs> this should take the heat off. <laughs> Jacob, move your sexy head. Be me, I farted, sorry. Hold this! Whee! Don't. Going up a barrier. Look out! Hostile forces have engaged. Critical system damage. Critical system damage. Excuse me, impact event. System failing. There we go! Power. Ooh, okay, we are focusing. No, you're not. I love that, just excuse me. Gotcha, bitch. Are they still shooting while I'm doing this? I guess time still passes. Holy crap.
Good Lord in heaven! Okay, two blue lines at the top. Really? There we are, we got it. I love that they disintegrate. Jacob, that was your butt! <laughs> Well, they're fucked. Like, bye. Good lord. What the hell is Hawking up to? Find someone who might make use of a forged ID. Always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. We may have to kill him. Did you see that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now. Working for the Blue Suns, I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You don't need to hurt him to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more Blue Suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real crook, but... Oh, I already. I'm alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless. Unlike everyone he betrayed, he'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Is there no other way? Maybe, but this is personal. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. Garrus's loyalty mission is a lot longer than all the other ones I've done so far. Okay.
we go. We got it. We can use this. Sniper rifle damage. Help me! Ow. You didn't even see the pillow. Fire in the hole. You're an unshielded target. Nothing's gonna stop us now. There we go. I think so. Good. It'll make it easier to kill you. Two? Focus your fire on one. Unity. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for the pets. Good grief. Fucking ru rude, mate. Oh, how are you? It's got to be an easier way to do this, like. Look at that one! It's probably like died like it scored a fucking goal. Do you know what I mean? It's like, girl! Hi, you're gonna die. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. And we can build this dream together. Stand and smile forever. Weapons down, bitch. You were close, but not close enough. Try that again. So, Fade, couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. In the nuts! We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Turian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. For you. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <clears throat> oh! Well, what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get out of me! Right in the daddy bags. There you go. Changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sedonis opened my eyes. Now a 
arrange a meeting. Go on. Go on. Oh! I will see to that in just a moment. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal oh. now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Thank you, Zemi. Yeah, kill you. No, but I don't mind And you down, let's but... use Orient for amphetamine be because it's like speed, so Orient is pretty speed I guess color. It's your lucky day. So do like Orient yeah. for amphetamine. Real soon. Oh! <laughs> I just heard that! I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. <laughs> Sedonis better be there. He fucking headbutted him! <laughs> Anybody who came in who doesn't know who I am, my name is Nero Husky. I'm a British variety streamer who plays all sorts of stuff. And at the moment, I am playing Mass Effect 2. And we are uh, chilling out with Daddy Garrus. We are chilling out Harkin's with... a bloody menace. We are chilling out with Daddy Shouldn't Garrus. just let him go. He deserved to be punished. And hi, Bowser Puma as well. A grab a drink, grab a snack, is. guys. Get comfy we'll and chill with the Husky Hub. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? Your dick. What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sedonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Good grief, Garrus. You are very bloodthirsty today. I like how Jacob's just like, uh, are we really letting him do this? Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Enjoy the lurk raging. Kinda hot. Give me one second, I'll be right with you. I'm a friend of Garrus's. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Give me one second, because there's an interrupt coming. here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. But hello, hello. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? 
You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night sick and sweating. Let me get you a shout out. Face is staring at me, accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food How was Destiny 2? Some days. You, you guys found the box. Where's the box? I know. Just give me the chance. Ha. Ha. <laughs> I just, I took it. I just took it. I'm running. I'm running. I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Sidonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. So Sidonis lives? The Paragon route is to save him. And there you go. Anybody who came in on that raid who doesn't know who I am, my name is Nero Husky. I'm a British variety streamer who plays with... <laughs> and at the moment, I'm playing Mass Effect 2. Not yet. Oh my goodness. I know it didn't go the way you planned. But I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me, for my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when that was Billy is, from Billy and Mandy going, ooh, blah, 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 blah. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. But yes, so and hi, Baron, as well. Heck and sweetheart. Gray. I don't know what to do with Gray. You gotta go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. I'll suck your dick later, Thanks. okay? For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. You thought it was Donnie from I'm the Wild Thornberrys? <laughs> no, it's, um, it's Billy from Billy and Mandy. Oh, good lord. It's actually one of the sounds from my little soundboard. I only have like five sounds on it at the moment because I keep forgetting to add new stuff to it. But the first one has been there like a year, but it's just like whenever something awkward happens, I just go. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Carol's loyalty unlocked. Da -da. <laughs> oh no. Well, we have Garrus's loyalty. There we go. Garrus is loyal. He is our loyal baby. He's gonna take me in the battery array and do unspeakable things to me, you know? <laughs> Good lord. Sniper. I will go check on Grunt in a bit. Oh, my days. That is so loud. Holy shit. I may need to turn that down. <laughs> Sniper rifle damage. Sniper headshot damage. An additional 50% damage if you score a headshot. Yes. Please. Fuck yes. Assault rifle accuracy, heavy pistol critical. Ooh. Collector assault rifle. Ooh. Collector assault rifle unlocked. Ugh, right. Carnifex hand cannon missile launcher. Ooh. Good lord. These are all the weapons and stuff we've unlocked. Aren't these cool? 
black boxes, sniper rifles. Nice. There's so much cool shit. You should be able to unlock loyalty with enough plumbing investigation. Yeah, you would think if you dick them down hard enough, you would uh you would get you would get their loyalty, you know? She's like, how did you make them loyal? They got the good dick. Well no, they gave me the good dick, you know. Let's go talk to Liara. Whee! Yeah, let's go talk to Liara. Cause Liara is my girlfriend. Bet you never thought you'd hear me say that. But this, this Shep has a girlfriend. Sh Femme Shep does have a bigger dick. Don't judge. I ain't judging. Where the fuck is Ilium? I went to the wrong fucking uh, thing, didn't I? I did. I didn't even go to fucking Ilium. There we are. Either you got the good dick or you rode them like a bucking bronco. I mean, would that secure your loyalty with me? I mean, what? You do keep coming back. <laughs> oh my goodness. To be fair, my persona is a total switch. Like, my actual sonar is a switch, so like, if... If a friend of his, like, just suddenly whipped out a big dick, he would just immediately get a nosebleed and just be like, okay, I'm gonna take off my pants now. Um, I would very much enjoy getting dick down to next Tuesday. Thank you! Uh, let's take... Who to take? Let's take... The tongue thing. The tongue thing. The tongue thing. Blah, 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 blah. And now we have Garrus. Heck yeah. And welcome back, Iselectra. There we go. My persona is a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I do have Daddy Garrus, yes. Calibrate me, damn it. Oh, I know. He's... He needs to he needs to calibrate the exact velocity and speed as to how hard he's gonna fuck you. You know? God can you imagine? <laughs> Ilium Dr. Liara Tassoni. Talk to Liara Tassoni in her office overlooking the trading floor. Orbital prostate bombardment. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant. Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. And that is why you should date a Geth. Contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. My- cause Shepard romanced Liara in the last game, so... Hi, you. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Bye! Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Oh, 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 smoochy, mleng, oh, we got a kiss, hi babes, yaris, oh, getting me laser on, it's fine, hmm? My sources said you were alive, but I never believed, it's very good to see you. You have sources now? La, 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 la. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. 
I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. From you out of space? Sorry. <laughs> if you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. Me? If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Jesus! Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship. Or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Find out what kind of I need minimal heat increase. Biotic damage, tech and damage, heat. metagel capacity. I have extremely high performance requirements. Good lord. Squad bonus plus fifty percent tech damage. Hell yes. Tech damage five out of five. I need a okay, so let's see. Hack the security nodes. Find security terminals, hack them, and then locate the nearby vulnerable data and upload it to Liara. Okay. Lots of money here. Soft people who make good victims. They're not soft, just unconcerned. They only flaunt what they there we go. Run away, you bastards. They must have caught us glad. That's disgusting. You're making money off of our computer. Okay, so now we just need to find these uh thingies. Oh no, you're back from outer space. I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Do 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 I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have made you leave your key. If I'd been known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Believe how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical. You want to know a secret? I had it done a few years ago. Sometimes you 
say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're, you're... The word you're looking for is pure blood. Oh, wow, rude. That's basically like incredibly racist in Asari terms. Fucking hell. Up. Uh, let's see. It starts with green. That one. You know, Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she lost her daughter to the death of half the citadel. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the clan. Stupid drug users you're laughing at. Good grief, sweetie. Three layers of blue text. That one. There is a lot of racism all of a sudden, yeah. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, uh, maybe a shirt. Or a car. Helium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? Asari skin color and the Doppler effect? Dad, just get her anything. Or don't. I need to get her something. A memento. Oh, that Asari is that Asari is that Salarian's daughter. That's kind of cute. Secure station, hack the terminal. Three orange. That one. Three lines of purple. That one. That one. Got it. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn, that's a hell of a sniper rifle. Oh, hello. There it is. I'm telling you, relax. Ax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I think Fuck. he won't. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some Justicar, I don't know. No, but I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it... Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a... Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Wait, why did that give me renegade points? What? Why did that give me renegade points? What the fuck? That's weird. Ow. to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Caches? I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is, given his resources. There's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We Excuse me? Not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads. 
Trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Oh, Farron is a Farron. Drell. He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So, you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover The you. pink Asari they behind her is Farron really fucking shifty. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could- Hi, Redbeard. Welcome- Welcome back. Welcome on in, even. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. You don't know what that means to me, Shepard. I didn't know who you'd be when you came back. If you'd feel... They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, we hadn't even dreamed. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Let's go get him. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Are we gonna get to see, like, Liara? Liara butt? Help Liara later. Ooh. Plus four Paragon. And 2,000 credits. Just a car, Samara. Currently on Ilya. Okay. Where did the assistant go? Training employees only to lose them to your competitors. Perhaps Indentutech can help the leading provider of credit. Okay. Lair of the Shadow Broker. We may have to turn on the censorship husky. Go to the docking area. Oh, we're docking now. Oh, taxi stand. Okay. We're docking now. Okay. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Carosa family. Nasana Dantius didn't give us time to pass. Are you a Quarian or Volus who is tired of being passed over for promotion? For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charge for 50 hours, plus overtime. Good, good for you, sweetie. I'm telling you, relax. Dax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. The cliff smirks, some just a car, I don't know.
Okay, I love the taxi summoning. I wish it worked like that in in the UK. You know, just zoom. Good for me, I think. Yeah, I, I like. I'm. I'm. Ew. Shepard's gonna go see her girlfriend, and they're gonna do the sex. But then again, for all we know, uh, Liara might have a penis. We will never know. For all we know, Liara might have a massive dick. Because I, I know that Asari are an all-female race, but they can still breed with each other, so... But then again, they don't... From what I've gathered, they don't have, like, genital genitals, so to speak. They kind of do, like, a mind-meldy thing, and then they just... Like, suddenly, like birth a baby Asari. I don't quite know where, where it comes out of. I don't really want to imagine it. What the hell? Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Sentra, we got an open carrier on this end. Switching to a coded relay. What's going on? This area is sealed off. Please step back, ma'am. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Someone tried to kill Liara? Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. Already done. Sila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. A Spectre? I heard your status was reinstated. Good. An, As an Asari Spectre. Operatives. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Tasoni. Note the bullet holes. Fuck! She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. If Liara isn't here, where is she? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sifting through her crap. There's no blood, no body. It looks like Tassoni got away. The sniper didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Fair enough. But clever. Did the police find anything when they arrived? Oh, she had a shield Just on her. the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. <laughs> wow. It's like, they got a gold star for finding the bullet holes. They're pretty fucking hard to miss. There's a massive fucking smash mark in the window. Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Ilium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I haven't found anything useful for tracking her down yet. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Between her boobs? Around. Between those beautiful blue booba. This is probably one of the rare times where I'm like, this is a lady I am in love with, you know? I know I'm in- I know I'm incredibly gay, but I'm like, no, Liara is my girlfriend and I will fucking protect her. She is my video game girlfriend. It's part of my old armor. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. Wait, what was that? A doctorate from the University of Ceres, up on Bessia. She's getting good use out of all that education. She has a nice apartment. I'll give her that. Jack and Garrus are just chilling there. Did she hide it in the fridge? Is it in her panty drawer? Yeah, that's not the Asari homeworld. I'm not sure what planet that is. It's Ilos. She has a painting of Ilos. Cool. I wasn't expecting to meet another Spectre. A photo with a Normandy. Kind of surprised I didn't go for Garrus. Everybody wants to fuck Garrus, and I'd never romanced Liara before, so I figured, fuck it, let's let's romance Liara. A photo with a Normandy. picture changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. It's a scavenger hunt! 
those things must be worth a fortune. I'm pretty sure Rex wants to fuck Garrus as well. Those two are totally boyfriends. I'm sorry. Garrus and Rex are totally boyfriends. Like, Re Garrus wants to suck on each and every one of, of that Krogan's four testicles. Just hang, 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 hang. Oh. She's certainly into ugly. No offense. Cheeky! Fucking cheeky! <laughs> Dicks! Hi, Fluffy. Oh, look at that! Vasir, I've got something here. Backup disc. Let's try it on her terminal. She kept a backup. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sikat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony, you're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that- Hi, Corvo! Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. This must be important. The Shadow Brokers people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. I think there should be a Krogan romance option, you know? That'd be kind of cute. Just this big, dumb idiot who all he knows is fighting. Who's just like, he can't deny the fact that he's head over heels in love with you. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Oh! Excuse me! Liara's in there! Well, now she's fucking everywhere! What the hell? They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me. What the fuck, man? Holy shit. Woo! <gasps> right, okay. Ice ammo. Armor piercing ammo. Warp ammo. What the fuck? The blast knocked it up like weak. Was it a bomb? What happened? Someone please help me. Who are you? What's going on? Help me. Yeah, Liara touched uh Liara is Liara is the girlfriend of the most important woman in the galaxy. Like Yes, Krogan has four te Krogan have four testicles. Yeah, um, Liara is the girlfriend of the most important woman in the galaxy. Of course she's gonna be a fucking target. Yeah, because basically there's there's a mission in uh Mass Effect 1 where uh Garrus is talking about uh when he's talking to Dr. Saleon, he's like, some people would but would some Krogan would pay for testicle transplants in an attempt to counteract the genophage. They would pay ten thousand credits per testicle. That's forty thousand for a full set. And I'm like, that means they have four. Barrier Frontier employee. Looks like he got caught in the explosion. I wouldn't take any bets on Tassoni's informant surviving that blast. Same, honestly. Fucking hell. What was that? Vizier, the elevators are out and building security is down. No alarms, no police. Very professional. We are literally running into a building after a terrorist attack. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> what is it with all these fucking missions? We had fucking Overlord, where the guy got forcibly fused with a fucking VI. We had Arrival, where the lady fucking, um, tried to kill me so that she could usher in the early arrival of the Reapers. And now there's this? What the fuck? I 
I am keeping my gun drawn. There's a wounded person here, still alive. Where are you? Up there. Casualty here. Looks like he's got bullet wounds. Watch yourself, Vizier. They used military grade hardware. Bullet wounds? Guess this was more than just an explosion. Good God. An ATM? Money! a military-grade explosive device. It hasn't been armed. Sloppy work. You use that kind of hardware when you don't have time to plan. So the explosion... was a backup plan. Rest well, Ice Electra. Vizier, I'm at the Barrier Frontier's office. Liara signed in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Welcome to Barrier Frontiers. Let us be your guide to limitless possibilities. Trouble incoming. Excuse you. I'm pinned down. Mark, and they're well armed. Say hello to the Shadow Brokers Private Army Commander. This is going down. Whoa. Excuse you. Here, hold this. Oh, he sniped him. Hi. Show your face, bitch. Fuck Jack. Get fucked. Fucking hell, guys. Oh. I'll kick it off, man. Ammo. Vizier, these damaged pipes are on fire. They're blocking the stairs. Look for a switch to activate the fire suppressant systems. Got it. Should be clear now. Good. I'm on my way down. Uh, there was a just full-on fucking, like, firefight in the offices.
Here. Fucking flashbang. Fire. All the dragons are just like, fire! This might be useful. Heavy pistol damage. I will take that. La 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 la. I'm over here like fucking Frankenstein, just like, fire bad! Ow! Dude! Ow. Oh, she killed him! She killed the guard. Damn it. If I'd have been a few seconds faster, I could have stopped them. Is this Sakat? Must have been. No sign of that Dega Liara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Mm. Speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Oh! Liara? Liara, this is Vizier. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. Oh, shit. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that guy down? She's a bad I guy. You. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. You didn't know where Liara went because she hid the message. You needed me to find it for you. Thanks for the help. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood shit! Oh! You wanna get racist? Fucking calling Liara that? No. You insult my girlfriend, I shoot you in the face. Your life is fucking forfeit, you whore. And Liara's pissed! Yeah. Fucking hell. Her telekinesis is stupidly strong. She's just like, nah, bitch. Liara's just like, don't worry, honey, I'll kill her. Hello. Hi! Goodbye. Ah. Whoop! Then stay down. Goodbye, bitch. That's unfortunate for you. Oh, hi. <laughs> have you ever considered maybe not exposing your head to me while I have a giant fucking sniper rifle? She's getting away. Not if I have anything to say about it, she doesn't. Okay, Shepard, would you like to stop doing that? Me. <clears throat> Sorry, who said you could survive? I don't recall giving you permission to live. Thank you. Yeah, the Shadow Broker goes through three games.
they're just trading pot shots at each other now. Liara and Garrus, just like old times. Ooh, it's getting spicy! Icy, spicy. For you, I'm too pricey. Going for the gold swim, I get a little feisty. Strong like a Megatron, hot like a Marathon. A.K. to Babylon, I'm a phenomenon. Beep, beep. I'm a sheep. Oh, what? There she is. Hang her right. No wait left. I'm on her. Hang her left. She's around the corner. We're not going into the construction site, are we? Oh, God. I'm not letting her escape with that data. Oh, I don't like this. I lost her. I'm not letting her escape with that data. Go, 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 go! I'm going! Traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. Uh, uh, ah, no! She's Excuse dropping proximity charges. I noticed. Okay, this is where it gets awkward. Woo! Ah! She's got reinforcements. Good for her! What guns does this thing have? It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. Truck. I know. Truck! Stuck. <laughs> there we go. You're enjoying this. Just a bit. my days hi bitch remember me have you considered like just giving me what I want and then you can walk away alive ha bonk I feel sorry for whoever's house that was. That would have stung. up for you sweetie now you die <gasps> watch out they're dropping reinforcements there's Vizier's car come on she can't have gotten far watch out ooh squad points heck yeah oh, I can't do anything Liara oh sweetie I missed you so much oh. right Yes, yes, yes. Just level three and everything. Let's just do it. Reinforcements in to slow us. Carnifex hand cannon locust session. Chi. combat drones. 
Good for them, I guess. I'm just like, shoot her in the face! Whoop! Have you considered dying? Shot him in the ass. Wait, which way am I going? Oh, shield your eyes. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not quite sure what I just did. We can climb over to get to Vizier's car. Okay. That was fun. Oh, so it was just a survival mission. Okay. Lustful video. What kind of hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari body. So did I. Ooh! Well now. This might be useful. Dirty. Dirty girl. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> naughty, naughty, naughty. Is that her? Is she dead? It is, basically. It's the red light district of Ilium. Where is the objective that I'm meant to be looking for? Or am I just passing through here on my way elsewhere? There we go. Money. Nice work. Okay, so there's her car. Well, she's there, she's dead. Lost a 
lot of blood. We have to be getting close. She's tough, I'll give her that much. She's a specter. She started shooting people. I think she started opening fire on innocent people. Yeah, she has. There are a lot of dead police officers here. Yeah, she started indiscriminately killing. That is no bueno. She just started killing indiscriminately because she can. They must just be really into gunplay, you know? Vizier, it's over. She's bleeding out. Hey, hey you! Come here, what's your name? Mariana, Mariana, you want to live, don't you? Tell those people that you want to live. Please. We'll get you out of here safely, Mariana. Well, that's good to hear. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. It scars them for life. I'm going to end you, Vizier. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it. The usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? Thermal clips on the ground now. Power cells, too. Is that it? What? Vizier, I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I unleashed the Rachni on the galaxy. So for your sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. You're that is cold as fuck. Now, Leon. Bonk. Bring it, bitch. Oh, she's fast. Watch out, shockwave. Where'd she go? Hold still, bitch. Got her. This is going to be a drawn out fight. Where'd she go? Well, her barrier's down. Is that a freeze ray gun? Technically. It has a... Ah! It has a... Cryo-augmented bullets. I... My aim is shocking! Here, hold this. I'll finish you myself. 
Oof, my god. Liara. Oh! This should punch through their armor. Got it! Oh, damn it! Damn it! There's a fucking black hole! Yoink! Sakat's personal data pad. This has what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow Broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything we've ever faced. Is that why you sold out the council to work for him? You think I betrayed the council? Like Saren? Go to hell. The broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. Spectres don't blow up buildings filled with innocent people. Sure we do. We get our hands dirty so the council doesn't have to. The counselors might complain about our methods to soothe their consciences, but they never look too closely. Besides, you're with Cerberus. You have any idea what your terrorist friends have done? I know who they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You want to judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps? Killing Alliance admirals who ask questions, and you're with them. Don't you dare judge me. Oh. Don't you? Dead. Eliminate the Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. Vizier's dead. I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Vizier before long. If he decides to kill Theron, we'll get Theron out of there alive, Liara. I promise. I know. You're here to help. Just like always. That's not a good thing. When we first met on Theron, you saved me from the Geth. You fought a Krogan Battlemaster while I cowered. Now you're doing it again. And I'm still leaning on you for help. The music's That's pretty. Friends do, Liara. I can get us there based on Sakat's data. The Normandy's stealth drive will keep them from detecting us. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. It's a little cold. They killed innocent people. You know what I mean. Do I? When I hit the ground back at the Trade Center, you went after Vizier without a backward look. A little fall wasn't going to kill you. I had to stay on Vizier. I had to stay rational, make the call, like I did with Sakat. That's Vizier's fault, not yours. Sakat had no idea what the stakes were. I put him in harm's way to get the data I needed. I got him killed, and I'd do it again. But from here on out, things will be simple. Get in, get Farron, get out. And kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? That's it. Will you just stop for a second? We'll be jumping several light years. There's time to talk. About what? About us. Oh. Shepard, listen. I'm glad you're here. You worried there might be terminals you need me to hack? That's not fair. You were dead. I came back. It's not that easy. You can't just come back and have two years of mourning suddenly vanish. For now, let's just focus on getting fed. Oh, back. fine. I mean, that is a fair point. It's like, well, we need to talk about us, you know, like, like you were you. As far as I'm aware, you're still my girlfriend. I'm sorry that I was dead for two years, but like, ugh. Garrus, it's got to be Garrus. I'm sorry. 
Locust SMG, Carnifax Hand Cannon, Vindicator Battle Rifle. Calibrations, yeah. Yeah, no, I understand both sides. If for the past two years you were living under the belief that your partner had been dead, like, would you move on and try and find happiness again, or would you just sit and mourn, you know? There's a good chance I'm gonna get struck by lightning. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to pinpoint in this lightning, but I'm picking up signals from a communications array near the back of the ship. There's nothing below but maintenance equipment. We have to find an entrance near the back shielding. So how do I... Uh. Okay, which way am I going? So it's this way. This is very reminiscent of the... Uh... There we are. Yeah. Excuse me? They must think we're debris from the storm. Hostiles up ahead. Hi, Varric. Welcome on in. You beat it? Oh, cool! <laughs> oh, hi. It's going well! We're doing the Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC. Hi. Here, hold this. Oh, crap. That's our path across.
Oh shit! Just casual singularity. Time is it actually? Oh, hello. Hi! Excuse me! I love the fact that the aura is just like pew pew pew! Probably dead. Navigating the storm is brutal. If the ship's engines stop, even for a moment, at least the shadow broker would go down with us. That's comforting. Good lord. I know. Jaffa cake, thank you. Oh, it is. It's a really good game. It's a it's a game series I think everybody should play at least once. Scratch one. Firing eye impact shot. Oh my God! Bye. Oh, I know. Andromeda will be a filler game, for sure. Ah! Here, hold this. Got them. I keep forgetting that a sorry blood is purple. my days uh, Andromeda was basically a massive letdown in comparison to the original series Andromeda is out already yeah I have it I'm gonna play it just so I can say that I have played it you know 
Oh, hello. Ah! <laughs> Hi. Garrus. Do you see a switch? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> oh no. Oh. No worries, Corvo. Take care. We love you. Until he gets zapped! Let's go. Self care package, I will take that now. Hang on, I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Fucking. Well, not this one, anyway. Firing eye impact shot. Are you sure that shunt is working? It's illegal, even on Ilium. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Here come more of them. Tell me you tested it. No time to talk. Fuck. Oh hell. Hello. What left to worry about? Go down drop. I love this right. Miss Fucking wave looks like a big one. You just had to give them tactical advice, but now there'll be fewer left to deal with inside. Yeah, keep dreaming, Sony. Then stay down. Uh. <laughs> Heavy weapon. Oh. Shield your eyes. 
<laughs> I love it when they get electrocuted because they lose their footing and they just go wee. Fucking hell in a handbasket, man. Oh no. I really want to finish this DLC, but it's such a long one. The Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC is such a long DLC. Would you believe me if I told you we're only about halfway through it? Oh my god. I don't even think I can um, quit here. I think I have to keep going. I don't think I have a choice. I have to keep going. I don't have a choice. So I guess we're going. Hi! Fuck me, sideways, man. Look at all these terminals. Giddy aunt. I'm on it. Downloaded the ship's layout. We're headed toward the prison block. And Farron. I still can't save the game. Oh my days. Ah! Hi! Firing eye. <clears throat> Neutralize the drone. Right, now I can save the game. Holy crap. <laughs> I hate to end it in the middle of all this action, but I need to wrap up so I can go to bed. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to take this long. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, guys, to wrap it up here, but like I have stuff to do tomorrow and I can't stay up any later than I already have. Goddamn. Oh, big stretchies. Let's get some credits rolling, and then I will be sending you beans on somewhere new. Uh, a big thank you to everyone on the list. A big thank you to Kibo for the biddies, my mods, Blask, Zami, Cedric, Varric, Erite, and the good bots in there as well. 
and to Stexen01 for the follow, Rogar for the resub, and to Cedric, Iselectra, Axel, and Steven for the raids. Bed is important, yes. I have to... I've deliberately not had any Zoomy juice today because uh, I have to be up for work tomorrow, so... Eh. But let's find somebody to go raid right on out to... Uh, let's see. Let's have a looky-loo. Who have I not raided in a hot minute? I love all you beans very much. Uh, no, I raided them recently. Thank you for the pets. Nyang. Uh, who have I not raided in a while? Let's go say hi to... Uh, have I raided them? We could go say hi to Gamer Zoan. He's playing Monster Hunter Rise. I don't think I've raided them in a while. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go say hi to Gamer Zoan. I haven't raided them in a while. I think I spelled their name right. Yep. Get a nice big juicy raid for him. Uh, there's the raid message, guys. The Husky Hub is here to bring the good vibes. Just a nice little generic one today. Uh, so yeah, that's the raid message. Copy and paste it. If you have my emotes, feel free to use mine. If you don't, uh, you can use your own if you're a streamer. Or if not, you can just use your favorites. Whichever you'd prefer to do. I will be back on Tuesday with some more of this Mass Effect 2. We will be wrapping up the, re the Lair of the Shadow Broker and doing some more loyalty missions. And it should be a hell of a good time. So yes, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Do join Cedric tomorrow for his usual... Monday night stream where he'll be playing some Final Fantasy. He'll be doing some Cult of the Lamb or some art or whatever the fuck he feels like. Or it may even be Tarkov. He has many things he might like to play. But yes, join my husband Bleak tomorrow for his usual Monday stream. And I will see you all on Tuesday for some more of this high octane action. So thank you so much, guys. I love all of you. And I will see you all on Tuesday. Bye!